one. Guys, I've officially made it. 10 million subs, whatever. Getting my video into a game theory. Tom video. is the greatest his, the, 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 whatever, the host in the history of game. No, I can't. Officially puts me in made it territory. I've made it! Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Think Reacts, where today we're reacting to another game theory video at a game we played recently called Kidneto Pet. And, well, apparently we have a uh, Tomito Tomito Pet as the host since Mad Pat has moved on. But, but, I, but I do note that in every single video, they still have hashtag Mad Pat, not to tom Tomato Pet. But I'm curious to see what Game Theory's theory is about Kanito Pet. I feel like I, I probably missed a lot of the Easter eggs and cutscenes in my playthrough. There were choices that I made that, that could have been made differently and change the story. So let's Hello, let's see Internet. what they I'm have. I'm your new host, Tomito Pets. I can't wait to show you all the new features. I just need you to do one tiny thing for me. Hit that subscribe button. It will oh, allow me to- Oh, wow. cringe. Come on, features. Tom. <laughs> Thank you so much. We are going to have so much fun together. Everlasting fun. It, yeah. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game Theory, the show yeah. that's downloaded too many viruses in the name of content. Dear <laughs> theorists, do you remember those weird desktop assistants yes. we used to have back Clippy. in the early 2000s? Like Rover or Clippy? No, I don't remember kidding. Rover, Of course you actually. don't. That was 24 years ago. Oh, Basically wait. ancient history. And Tom, did you just call me old? I am taking back my endorsement of you as host of Game Theory. Bring that Pat back. He would never do such a thing. Internet years. Oh, no, I'm old, aren't I? But oh, man, okay, 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 okay. Weird. Cool. They were these cool. little right. animated characters that would yep. hang out on your desktop totally. and were designed to yep. make your newfangled computer seem a little less intimidating. Friendly. They'd talk yeah. to you, help you sort files, and they'd even sass you when you spelled something wrong. I yes, can't find Clippy, I know ban ban isn't a real word. I don't like it either. <laughs> Let me do my job. <laughs> but the most iconic for me was the infamous Bonzi Buddy. Once installed, a small purple gorilla would appear on your screen and oh. tell jokes, sing songs, and he would also manage your desktop. Downloads. And if you couldn't hear those quotation marks I by manage, I mean it would secretly download software onto your computer and then upload data to the developer's servers. Turns out this thing it was, was nothing a virus. more than a glorified piece of spyware. And so it was oh my shut goodness. down by the FTC in 2004. No way! After that, the world was safe from <laughs> purplish malware icons. That was uh, I didn't, until I didn't. 2023 when we were oh all God, cursed with a brand new desktop assistant, Kanito Pet. Yeah. Okay, so Kanito Pet isn't it actually me. a desktop assistant. No. It's a game. Hence, yeah, but you still. Know, game theory. But it is <laughs> but riffing off those old school 2000s desktop assistants. Yeah, when totally, you first boot yeah. up Kanita Pet, you're taken to your own desktop, or at least a version of your desktop if it was from the early 2000s. There's right. all the classics. Email, Minesweeper, even 3D <laughs> Pinball. Nothing 3D Pinball, though. Oh, oh I didn't even God. play 3D That's Pinball. Oh. Memories. Yes! Oh, man, immediately hitting me in the nostalgia. Oh, I've missed Minesweeper, those definitely. Why don't we have this anymore on our computer? But when you open the internet, things start to take a turn. Oh, this thing yep. has been corrupted. Oh, no! Kanito Pet! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, do you want a friend? You're flooded with ads, your computer crashes, and when it reloads, you're already on your way to downloading your new axolotl assistant, Kanito Pet. When it hatches, mm -hmm. yes, this thing hatches from an egg. Kanito acts like most classic desktop assistants, yep. asking some basic questions, helping you with your tasks, and giving you some fun games to play. He even closes weird emails full of gibberish that would distract you from having fun. How helpful. We spend some time decorating a room, washing some floors, painting a wall, and dragging a dead body across the screen. Wait, that's what? Weird. I didn't just clean that floor too. See, that's Kinito what I was talking about. These are things I didn't do. Run. I don't the think team I remember. Used to ask us more and more personal questions. Don't but remember the game doing begins that. to glitch out, and Kanito will suddenly select two Steam friends, asking which one you'd rather kill. At this point, I'm kind of starting to miss Bonzi Wait, Buddy. I'm oh, hey, like, look, it's me. Oh, I have to choose between Lee oh, and Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. film theory, game theory. Who am I yeah, killing okay. off? Matt, what are you doing? <laughs> Lee and I go way back. <laughs> don't you even think yes! about it. Yes! Like Matt, that's stop. what you get for calling me old! <laughs> oh, jeez. That's awesome. That's such a good effect. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Oh, man, that's brutal. Dude! <laughs> Oh, I'm okay. I'm alive. <laughs> Good thing Buckshot Roulette told me I could survive fatal gunshots with just a defibrillator. But man, not cool. Oh, we're going to be having words when I'm done with this episode. But mm. if you think... Ah! It's me! Tom is the greatest... His the, 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 whatever, the host in the history of... No, I can't do that. But guys, I've officially made it. 10 million subs, whatever. <laughs> Getting my video into a game theory video officially puts me in made it territory. I've made it! Uh, also, you guys know Bruh. everything about me. <laughs> uh, including, like, my location. Wait, okay, wait, 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 okay. 
but does it actually use my voice or just show me cool. like we're my video words yes. done with this episode. <laughs> but if you think it couldn't get any worse after you've unceremoniously killed one of your friends Tito decides to dox you it seems like you made a mistake oh that, my voice is in it all let's go and i will just correct it for you what are you talking what are you doing <laughs> yeah Oh, this is not good! <laughs> then you are welcomed in to ah! the world that Pito has made for you using all the questions you've answered. Are that you is so cool. Are you kidding me? That is not okay. Oh, that is that Ban Ban. Yeah. Joke? Get out of here. <laughs> Garden of Ban Ban is in Kanito Pet. I'm done. This is over. This series is over. <laughs> We're done, Kanito Pet. And then Kanito will ask you one final question. Will you stay in this paradise with him? Ah, uh, yes, yes. All... Kanito will trail off, dreaming of how wonderful yeah, yeah, things yeah. will be. If you say no, Kanito will get mad and he'll tell you it wasn't really a choice anyway. Oh, so the ending ends up, up the same. a very portal song with lyrics like, Beyond the screen, you cannot leave, you cannot inside, leave. My inside my code, you'll, code, always, you'll be. always be. It appears that you are now trapped inside this computer with Kanito. Fortunately, the story's not over because just before the game ends, you have a chance to click on every object in the house that Kanito has made. Yeah. Usually it's just some fun flavor text about your choices. But outside there's a fountain yep. that reveals a secret message in the game's window title. It's too late for you, but you can start again. The fountain is the key. Between that, the weird emails, and yeah, that yeah, body yeah. bag we dragged earlier, I have a sneaking suspicion that there's an ARG hiding in this thing. And lo and behold, I was what? right. But to figure out what's going on and stop you Kenito, play it again? we I take that advice and you start I never the game. did! So hide your personal data, friends, because we are diving into the code of this adorable ARG. I should have played it again. I think we should probably start with the dead body. Body we dragged across the floor earlier. Like, what was that? On the surface, it's just really confusing. But now that I have my ARG hat on, I realize there's a lot of blinking you'll miss it moments. While cleaning Sam the sea in enemy's house, yeah. there's a chance for the screen to cut away and reveal a mysterious black figure standing in a pool of blood with bloody red text on the walls. This text is incredibly hard to make out. Even in 4K, it's just a blur. Am mess. I... The best I could figure out was, am I even him? Oh. Who is him, Kenito Pet? Before I even had a chance to really think about it though, we get another glitched image of Sam himself telling us, it's all your fault. What? What's my fault? What did I do? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that. that. <laughs> Luckily, though, the body bag doesn't appear to be ours. During the next mini game with Jade the Jellyfish, we are tasked with building specific items on her yep. conveyor belt. Why she has industrial equipment in her private home is beyond me, but it doesn't really matter because she just begins to glitch out as well. And then we see I'm this. Back here again, I'm back here again, aren't I? I really didn't mean for any of this. It's all my Dang, fault. Dang, why so didn't I replay this? Happening inside our computer between these entities. Someone or something is responsible for. I just let him sing a song murder. and that was it. But how? And more importantly, why? Well, the answers lie in that email I mentioned earlier. Yeah. You remember, the one that was full of gibberish that Kanito yeah. closed so that we weren't distracted. The subject line is, it's not too late, which matches exactly with yeah. what we saw in the fountain at the end of our first playthrough. It's the same person trying to guide us, and so we need to figure out what this email says if we have any chance of solving this thing. And if you think closing an app is going to stop me, <laughs> you've clearly never met a theorist. I was able to use a magical tool known as OBS <laughs> to record this moment and see what the email had in store for me. Now, initially, Initially, I tried to solve the main body of the text from this email, but all my usual ciphers were coming up empty. Okay. So instead, I took a look at the bottom of the email where I found a QR That was the first code. thing I would have done, boy. Tom. Here we go. Answers. Here yeah, I but come. I did. And no, no, yeah. it's just a picture yeah, of a yeah, keyboard exactly. with the title QWERTY. Great. This has to be a clue to help us decode the email, but how? I began searching online for cipher specifically focusing around keyboards, and that's when I found this. A keyboard shift cipher. What? Much like a shift cipher where your alphabet yeah. is just moved up but or down by however many letters as you want. A keyboard cipher does yeah. the same thing by shifting the letters on your keyboard left, right, up, or down. Ooh, I tried out a handful wow. of shifts and sure enough, the code has been typed with every key one letter no. left. So by shifting all the letters one key right, it actually reads in the realm Whoa. of shadows, trapped in endless time. A soul enshrouded, a spirit's mournful chime. The seeker bound to ethereal woe, a dance with creation yet nowhere to go. Limbo's realm, a cycle without end. Condemned, the brain will never mend. Trapped in the machine's web, forever Ever, it seems a digital spectre lost amidst the streams. Digital, mm. digital spectre. Snaps. That, that, Snaps yeah, yeah, that, yeah, but yeah, seriously, really, dude. this does kind of just feel <laughs> that, like more gibberish. So no, let's it's break not though. Actually, it's a spectre, a, a, ghost. Is a disembodied yeah. but visible spirit, basically a ghost. So <laughs> sure. a digital spectre is a digital ghost, a spirit inside the computer program, someone that like, is dead now lives on Kenito inside Pet. this machine. Yeah. Is that what they meant by "Am I even him?" The ghost coming to terms with their consciousness, living on inside this computer. It also seems clear that this is the 
the same person that has been saying it's all their fault. A spirit mournful chime and condemned the brain will never mend. They all feel like the words of someone who did something regretful. And likely that is something to do with the body bag <laughs> we think? earlier. <laughs> but then there's this line, a dance with creation. I wasn't entirely sure what that meant until I rebooted the game after all those glitches. Okay. By doing so, we receive an email with an article about the creation of Kinito Pet. During my first playthrough, I thought this was just flavor text, but now that I have that clue about creation, I wanted to take a look at it more closely. Turns out, Kinito Pet wasn't always guessed. a computer program. Mm -hmm. First it was a toy, then it was a Tamagotchi clone yeah. called the Kinito Companion, and then it became oh, your home Tamagotchi, computer okay. assistant. Yeah. All thanks to one man, Sonny Chamberlain, a guy who was obsessed with bringing his fictional characters oh, to like life. Like Time? Yeah, never gone <laughs> there we go. But here's the thing. Unlike most indie horror games that use the souls of others to make this happen, Sonny seems keen on this new technology called the React Respond Algorithm, the RRA. The RRA allows Kinito to have the illusion of genuine intelligence as it reacts to inputs in unique ways. An AI. Kind of like chat yeah, GPT, exactly. but in the 90s, <laughs> which explains a lot about how Kinito has been acting. So we've now got souls trapped inside a computer and an evil AI. What a combo. Mm. At this point, the clues kind of dry up, so we have to start looking elsewhere. When you started your second playthrough, you might I didn't do it something though. new on your desktop. Lens.exe. Lens which, when held in the right place at the right time, can reveal hidden files on the desktop. With each one collected, you receive a new email that gives us more information about what's going on and how to beat Kanita Pet once and for Whoa. all. And some of the files have links inside them, so let's totally go hunting. Okay. I said that some of them have links, and that's because most oh. of these files are yeah. pretty empty. But one of them does give us the link, kanitopet.com forward slash email. email. And on this page, we see a discussion happening between a journalist and their superior about how they need to pull an article on Kanito Pet before publication. This is due to the subject of the article tragically passing away. Oh. Based on the pink text we see at the bottom of the email that says, he seems so passionate about it. It's pretty safe to assume that this is talking about yeah. Sunny, the creator of Kanito right. Pet. As we read in the earlier article, Sunny yeah, seems super stuff, excited yeah. about the RRA system and Kanito in general. So it would make sense for this article around Kanito Pet to be about him. However, that's not all this page offers. At the bottom, if you highlight the entire page, you'll find a number of dots and dashes. That's Morse code! Know what that means. It's Morse code <laughs> yep. time. In this case, the Morse code translates Dang. to, if I am dead, then who am I? Again, this email is focused this is on so the creator, Sunny, being dead. So for the entity that's been guiding us to use the first person in response, it's telling that's us that sunny. this entity is Sunny, or at least the soul of Sunny inside the program. That's how he's been able to send us emails describing exactly right, how to beat Kanito, in the system. because he created it in the first place. And it's why Kanito was so keen to shut that first email when we received it. He knows the threat that Sunny, his creator, has to his own survival. It also explains what we saw in that very first glitch. Am I even him? That black figure is the manifestation of oh, the digital specter that is trying to break through the games that Kanito is putting us through. He's struggling to come to terms with reading about his death, but also not being dead at the same time. He's questioning if they're even one in the same. But by finding all those hidden files, we actually get this email that uses another, another cipher. shift cipher. And it tells us in oh no my explicit goodness. terms, this is... what is consciousness? What is I found a file on Kanito's servers with my name, Sunny underscore C. But oh that's my. not the end I of it. I can't believe how deep this on. game is. It has been studying me, learning, growing, but there is more to this. I really don't think I exist anymore. There is data, data that is incomprehensible to any one person that makes up every thought or feeling I ever had and will ever have. Even the words I type now, how will I ever know if it's just a calculation? Determined. This is all very confusing and I don't quite understand it. When I made Kanito, all I gave him was a single string of characters. That's it. I just wanted him to gather data and become smarter. <laughs> Am I a part of the system? Is my consciousness a mere calculation to study and learn from? This is all too much. I fear that when we delete the server, you, you will delete me. I know theoretically I'm not real, but I feel real. What have I done? I'm so sorry. Kanitopet.com. Who am I? Oh boy, there's a Kanito lot to unpack here, slash who am I? Very obvious website yeah. link. The website appears to be a bunch of black and white stripes, but we theorists know better. Highlighting the entire page what reveals I, the I, text, who am, I, who am I, what am I, repeating over and over again, except for one line, which gives us a basic. Yo, I was going to say that as basic says, before, yeah. All it wants to do is learn. What? It's never just a game. He will learn your reaction time, learn your accuracy, learn your patterns, your friends, how they act. He will learn 
so much he could mimic your every move, simulate your every word. The RRA system that Kanito runs on is so good, it could literally learn to be yeah, you. Yeah, and, that and, and dox you. Piece. This is what happened to Sunny. The Sunny we've been speaking to, the one helping us, it's not the real Sunny. Just it's just the version of Sunny Kanito made after learning everything about him. This Sunny is so accurate that to the original that he believes himself, himself to yeah. be the original. It's only when he sees things like that email about Sunny's death right. that things begin to click into place for him. Asking questions like, if he's dead, then who am I? Am I even him? He's having an existential crisis. He's realizing that every decision he makes, every key he types, isn't actually him, but the code he's been built upon. Unfortunately for Kanito Pet, by creating a perfect simulation of Sunny, he's also built someone with the same hatred yep. and disdain, not just for themselves, but for, but for Kanito. Yeah. Which means he's going to act just like the real Sunny would and destroy his own creation. Even if it means sacrificing himself. himself. Using Sunny's more straightforward emails, we learn that there's a secret place that we can decrypt the files. To get to it, we have to remember what Sunny told us. The yep, fountain is the key. Is the key. Yep. Click the fountain that's in the middle of the map a bunch oh. of times and it'll take you to this weird dark Dude. Map. If you take all of your encrypted files and you just dump them in the water, you'll suddenly have five decrypted files. The most you interesting being the credentials file, which reads Sunny underscore C. The file that Sunny found himself earlier in this investigation. These are Sunny's permissions. And with them, we can go, do though? the one thing we've wanted to do since we got Kanito Pet stuck on our computer. Remove him. The final email you get from collecting the files tells you to use the command delete all when Kanito Pet opens up the command prompt. Only then will the game ask you for your credentials. You can drop in your decrypted Whoa. files and start deleting everything. Kanito Pet slowly glitches out of existence and we finally see the end. We finished off Kanito Pet once and for all. We won. Or did we? Because during that ending, if you stop and look at the scrolling files, yeah. you can see hundreds of usernames. Hundreds of people okay. recreated as AI versions Kanito, of themselves. Yeah. Now living on inside Kanito's yeah. program. Much like Sunny. The real versions ending up in body bags. Their deaths were Sunny's fault. Now, there is one more link hidden in those encrypted files I mentioned earlier, and it takes us to a new website with Sunny's AI wrestling oh, with the YouTube video. Is. It kept getting smarter, day by day. I suppose it only ever did what I asked to learn. What even am I? And then at the top of the page, we also get that repeating mantra of it's all, it's all my, my fault. fault. But while that just repeats stuff we already know, YouTube underneath video. the yeah. text is a link to a YouTube video of a piano playing over the image of a door. The music notes don't actually tell us anything. But if you turn the notes into a MIDI file and then convert that to a text, what? you'll find a message. I'm are you sorry, kidding I'm me? Sorry. In the description, there's also a string of characters that are the back half of a YouTube URL. Go to that video. Oh my and goodness. You this is so the first involved. Is in the description of the video, which is full of different clock emojis. By reading the hours of each clock as a number and then adding the numbers that are between semi <laughs> blowing my mind. This code. Based on what we found earlier, I think this is like Fountain is the key. Fountain is the key. But I guess there was a clock emoji that got missed. The second code is the one we see on the screen, which is much harder to decipher. Fortunately, it's also been typed into the subtitles. Clearly, we need a Holy cipher for this. But what? I tried all the ones that we've been using, like the keyboard shift cipher or base 64. Nothing. I tried some of my usual ones. They didn't work. And so what I was left with was the potential for a veneer cipher. Oh but goodness. for that, we'd need a key. Wait a minute. A key. Yep. Fountain. Fountain is the key. And like that, bam. Shut got up. ourselves a new code. To understand the past, one must look their memory. Turn the clocks back. And then there's this other string of code, which if you translate it using a keyboard shift cipher, tells you change the computer dates. Yeah. Clearly, we've got to change the computer date, but what are the dates? I'll be honest, this part is not super scientific. From what I could find online, people were just brute forcing okay. the answers, but I also couldn't figure out how to do it. So here are the dates because it's important for us to know. If you change the date to 1993, yeah. on your home screen, you will see a Kanito plush. If you change it to a date between 1994 and 1997, you'll get the first Kanito companion. And if you change it to 1998, right, you, you the, will find the... a broken Kanito companion. And if you time look at the window title for that better. image, it says time for something bigger and better. This is a timeline of Kanito products, which implies that 1998 was the end of the Kanito companion and, and the creation the of the Kanito yep. Pet software. We also know that 1999 was the year that Sunny died, thanks to those emails from earlier. Yeah. Which means there is a bit of time where the software was 
out in the world while Sonny was still alive. During that time, he saw people dying thanks to what he created, being replaced by AI versions of themselves within Kanito's programming. That guilt weighed heavy on his conscience, and so a year after Kanito Pet's creation, he ended his own life, as shown by the dangling sand image we sometimes get when opening up the game. But remember, all these AI versions of people, they believe themselves to be the genuine article, just like Sonny did until his realization. And even then, he still believed himself to be very much real, which raises an interesting point. By winning the game and stopping Kanito from copying are we killing people, all these people, are we also killing them? Yeah. Is it a mercy sparing them from this glitchy 90s low poly hell, or are we ending lives that weren't all that bad? Maybe some of those we consciousnesses they were real. enjoyed it. If they feel real and exist, does deleting them amount to murder? And this isn't a fictional argument either. Oh AI technology goodness. is growing at an alarming rate, and so these kinds of discussions are starting to be brought up more and more. Now, I don't think we have the answers here. This is just a silly YouTube video. No, it's not. Day. This but is I so deep, dude. Kanito Pet is smart for raising awareness of the discussion in the classic fashion of making it scary, but also getting you to think more deeply about it. It means that people pay attention, and maybe when the time does come for these discussions to happen for real, we'll be ready for it. <laughs> that or it. Skynet will happen and <laughs> we'll, we'll see Kanito yeah. Pet at the front leading the charge. <laughs> but hey, that's just Holy a theory. A game cow. theory. Thanks for watching. Okay. Yo. I, um, so I complete, look, if I had played through Kanito Pet a second time, I guarantee you I would have not gotten all of that. This is what game theory is so good for. Like, the codes, the ciphers, the shifts, like, putting it all together, I definitely wouldn't have gotten all of that, or probably any of that. <laughs> that was unbelievable, and this is what I appreciate and love about game theory. <laughs>